everyone, my name is John and I'd like to welcome you back to Jam Packed Online. How's everyone doing out there? You know, I hope you and your family had a great week. I was wondering if you're starting to get adjusted to being back in school. You know, God can help you with that. He is always here wanting us to share our lives with Him. We can talk to Him anytime we want to. God is the greatest listener, you guys. Why don't we talk to Him right now? Let's open up with a prayer together, okay? Sound good? Let's pray. Dear God, I just want to thank you for each child that's out there joining me today for Jam Packed Online. I just pray, God, that um, if they feel a little unsure about school or a little nervous about how things are different this time around this year because of all the things going on in the world, that they know that they can come to you, they can talk to you, and that you're big enough to understand and hear and listen and care for them in a way that they need to be loved and cared for and that they have nothing to fear because your promise is to always be with them. I ask all of that in Jesus' name. And everybody says amen together, okay? So remember, God is with you during this school year, and he loves you so very much. So hey, what do you say we get started with some worship? Why don't we all stand up right where we are, and I've got the adventure team back this week to lead you into a couple of songs, all right? Let's get moving.
Hey kids, welcome back. Well, this month we have been talking all about creativity. And remember, creativity is imagining what you could do because you were made in God's image. Now, we've also been practicing a memory verse all month. It's Psalm 145.3, and it says this, Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Let's practice this one last time together this month, just so we remember it. So if you're not standing, stand up nice and tall, and let's be loud when we do this, okay? I'm gonna get us started and you repeat after me. Let's begin. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145.3. Great job, you guys. You know, when Jesus lived on earth over 2,000 years ago, crowds of people always followed him wherever he went. They wanted to see Jesus and hear his teaching. Well, one day, as a crowd was gathering, Jesus went up on a mountainside and taught his disciples. Jesus was teaching. He began talking about salt and light. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. What do you think he meant by that? Well, Jesus goes on to explain what he meant by that. Check this out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Maya's letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope, salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly. Or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits. You know, the cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach, and pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, 
Then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted, trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus, by showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm gonna put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. Kids, God created you to share his story. God's story is good news for everyone. And with God's help, we can share it with others. How do we do that? Well, we can tell people about God. We can share all that he has done. We can tell them how much God loves them. We can share all about what Jesus has done for us. He came and lived a perfect life and then died on a cross to pay for our mistakes. He then rose from the dead three days later. And because of what he did on the cross, we are forgiven for all of our mistakes. We can let others know that when they believe in what Jesus did for them and they invite him into their lives, they are saved. And that means Jesus will be with them now and they will be with him in heaven someday. That promise is for them and for you. Kids, we can also show others who God is. That's what it means to be salt and light. When we're kind to people, when we're showing them that God is kind, when we're patient with people, we're showing them that God is patient. And when we love people, we're showing them that God loves them more than they could ever, ever imagine. All right, kids, I sure enjoyed spending time with you today as I do every week here on Jam Packed Online. And I look forward to seeing you again next week right here on Jam Packed Online. I pray you and your families have a great week. Bye for now.